The ABC can reveal new details about why police opposed the bail of former Ipswich Mayor Paul Pasali, who's facing an extortion charge. It comes as the Labor Party moved swiftly today to expel the long-time member from its ranks. He gave almost three decades to the Labor Party, but now Paul Pasali's been charged with loyalty means little. Paul has been a long-term member of the Australian Labor Party and I think the best thing now is for him uh, to resign from the Labor Party and focus on his defence. He didn't get the chance. Party power brokers acted swiftly. Less than half an hour later, he was dumped following a special administrative meeting. Pasali's brother and Ipswich councillor Charlie Pasali told the ABC, I'm not shocked or surprised by the decision. It's like kicking a dog while he's down. I do think it's a good decision. I think it shows you know, that the Labor Party um, you know, has standards. Pasali has indicated he'll fight the charges. Yesterday, a suppression order was placed on details around why police opposed Pasali's bail. It was challenged in court today by media organisations, including the ABC, but it was ruled that documents filed by police should remain sealed. A magistrate was of the view that... Uh, taking into account all the submissions that were made by both parties that it was in the interest of justice for that information to remain uh, beyond public view. A restriction on reporting what happened in open court was lifted though. It can now be revealed police were concerned for Pasali's welfare and feared he may interfere with witnesses, including his own property lawyer and a friend. Prosecutor Matt Carley yesterday told the court Pasali may apply pressure onto those witnesses and they could potentially be exposed to his influence. Pasali has been granted bail on the condition he not contact them. Andrew Koss, ABC News, Brisbane.